Good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's broadcast, Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the supervisors of South Union Township. Once again, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight, via tape delay from the Herald Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasiums, the Mustangs of Laurel Highlands host the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. It's senior night here tonight, and we'll be honoring all of the basketball seniors and the cheerleading seniors here this evening. Welcome aboard for tonight's game, Gary Frank Hauser, along with Jerry Dupay. And tonight's coverage on the South Union Township Sports Network is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, everyone at CU TV with Gary Smith. You can watch these games on YouTube. Just go to South Union Television. As we said, it's senior night. We'll be back with senior night activities and all the pregame action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law.
Welcome back. Before we get started with senior night activities, let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the visiting Greensburg Salem Lions coming into tonight's contest. Three and eight in conference, eight and 11 overall under the head coaching of Mark Zawerchak. Starting at guard, number one, Dante Parsons, a six foot junior. Number 10, Kayvon Trout, a six foot three junior, will be at one of the forwards. Number 12, Ryan Thomas, six foot three junior, will also be at a forward position. Number 23, Jack Oberdorf, a six foot one senior, will be at the other guard position, rounding out that starting lineup. Number 33, Reed Amundsen, six foot three senior forward. Those are the starters for Greensburg Salem. We'll be right back with your Mustang starters right after this on the South Union Township Sports Network. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbauer. Welcome back. Here's your starters for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs here on senior night. They'll be starting number three, Connor Basinger, a six-foot senior forward. Number 10, Demetrius King gets the start here on senior night, six-foot and a forward. Number 11, Kane Basinger, six-foot-one senior forward, will also be in that starting lineup. Number 14, Simon Kuznar, five-foot-eleven senior guard, and number 34, Ilyasa Saluka, six foot six, senior center for the Mustangs. All six seniors, I'm sure, will see plenty of action here this evening on senior night. Mustangs trying to get back in the winning column. We'll be right back after these messages on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebley, Mahalov & White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebley, Mahalov & White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalov & White. We're back at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. As we said, it's senior night, always a special night 
here at Laurel Highlands. We're going to turn things over to the PA announcer, Barry Rosner, to introduce all the seniors as he directs them to their starting positions here prior to the game. The Mustangs have shown steady improvement throughout the season, just a tough time getting in that win column last game on Saturday against the Uniontown Red Raiders, really hung in there for the entire game, just falling late 57-50 to against the Crosstown rival, strong Uniontown High School basketball team. So the Mustangs will be looking to try to take it to the end of the game here this evening and hopefully pick up a win against this Greensburg-Salem squad. Greensburg-Salem squad decimated by some injuries. They're really shorthanded here this evening, but I'm sure they are always a hustle team, a team that really gives great effort, and the Mustangs will have to match that here this evening. Out on the court, we have the Laurel Highlands administration, John Diamond, the principal, Coach Hogger, heading over there, several of the Laurel Highlands board members and coaching staff to honor the six seniors here this evening. We'll be seeing Max Henney, Connor Basinger, Demetrius King, Kane Basinger, Simon Kujnar, and Iliasa Jr. Saluka. Their last home game here at Laurel Highlands. As the seniors are lining up. Barry Rosner checking with the videographer Jerry Rosner, Jerry Dupay, to make sure everything's ready. Here's Barry Rosner with Senior Night. Tonight's boys basketball is Mustangs and Laurel Highlands hosting the Lions of Greensburg Salem. It is also Senior Night here at Laurel Highlands. We ask everyone to please direct your attention now to the basketball court and the center of the floor as we're going to honor our seniors this evening, the cheerleaders, our national anthem singer, and also our basketball team. So if you would now direct your attention down to the floor as we're going to introduce to you, first of all, our senior cheerleaders. Our first senior is Jamie Lynn Broadwater. Jane is being escorted by her parents, Lori and Don Broadwater. She has been a cheerleader for two years with Laurel Highlands. Her future plan is to attend Penn State for nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Jane Lynn Broadwater. Kaylee's being escorted by her parents, Lisa 
Our next senior, and well, that concludes our cheerleaders, let's have a nice round of applause for our cheerleaders, our seniors. Congratulations again. Our next senior now is our national anthem singer for all sports here at Laurel Highlands, Hannah Stefanson. And is being escorted by her father, Timothy Stefanson, and other Kathy Stefanson. As stated, Anna is our national anthem singer for all sports here in the Highlands. She's also a singer for the WPIL and also the West Virginia Black Bears baseball team. Her school activities is musical theater, dance theater, honors training and choir, and drama and sand clubs. She's a member of the National Honor Society and also Vice President of the Theater Club. Her future plans is to major in physical therapy and minor in theater in college. Ladies and gentlemen, Hannah Stefanson. That'll do it for the cheerleaders and Hannah Stefanson, the fantastic national anthem singer for the sports. Here are the basketball players. Kane and Connor Basinger. Also, Connor Basinger. Connor and Kane 
brothers are being escorted by their mother, Amy Hitch Reader, and also their father, Scott Basinger. Kane is a member of the Lower Highlands Golf Team, Art Club, the Honor Bowl, and all County Golf. Kane's future plans to attend Westmoreland Community College for West End Power Alignment Program to get a one to get a two-year associate's degree. Connor Basinger is a member of the Lower Highlands football team for four years, where he's our quarterback. He is a member of the hospitality and tourism. He's on wall for four years, all county football for two years, all conference senior year. His future plans to attend college and study finance. Ladies and gentlemen. Kane and Connor, basically. Our next senior is Max Henney. Next senior, Max Henney. Senior guard. Six seniors here on the Mustang basketball team. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Henny. Demetrius King. Demetrius has been escorted by his parents, Jennifer and Travis King. Simon Kuznar. Simon's being escorted by his brother, Lisa Ferris Kuznar, and brother, William Kuznar. Simon's future plans to attend college for accounting and business management. And ladies and gentlemen, Simon Kuznar. Our final senior is Eliasa Junior Saluka. Eliasa Junior Saluka. Eliasa Saluka, very popular grand gentleman who's a member of the track and field team also. He's also an all-county herder for the track and field team. 
His future plan is to attend college to pursue an education in petroleum engineering. And ladies and gentlemen, Elias Ali, Saeed Special night for all of the seniors here at Laurel Highlands. Last opportunity to enjoy the camaraderie among their teammates here on the home court. Something they'll always remember and cherish the friendships they've developed throughout the years. Working hard together as a team. Moving on to bigger and better things, hopefully. Let's have a nice round of applause if you would now for our basketball team. Congratulating them on the senior night. We wish them also the best of luck in the future. Congratulations to all the seniors. Here's the uh, Laurel Highlands alma mater and fight song. Dr. Jesse Wallace, Coach Pierre Jenkins, Coach John Smith, and Coach Rick Hogger. A nice round of applause for everyone this evening, please, if you will. All the administrators and school board members Our congratulating the seniors here this evening. Congratulating them on a fine career here at Laura Highlands, giving us all the memories that you had, wishing them all the best of luck, and letting them know you always have a home with us here at Laurel Highlands. Thank you. That's Barry Rosner, the PA announcer. We'll step aside here quickly, be back with the national anthem, the introductions of the starting lineups for both squads and the opening tip. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back. Just about ready for high school basketball action. Officials have all their duties completed. All the senior night activity is complete. Pep band is ready to roll. Barry Rosner will be giving us our national anthem after Hannah Stefanchin with her final national anthem here in the 2018-2019 Laurel Highlands basketball season. Barry Rosner to introduce Hannah. Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? Once again, could I have your attention, please? Thank you. It is senior night here at Laurel Highlands. 
before we meet and have our national anthem and also before we meet our teams and begin our game. We are also honoring two past Laura Highlands members of our school in many ways that recently passed away. First of all, Mr. Bob Genevieve, who passed away toward the end of last season, or last year, in 2018, and Mr. Fran Lemansky, who just passed away a few weeks ago. Bob Genevieve is married to a young lady named Mary, has two kids, Amy and Dan. Bob was a big part of Laurel Highlands. He was a coach at Laurel Highlands in many levels. He's also a coach at Albert Gallatin and a coach at Uniontown. Big time coach and member of the YMCA with Asbury Church and many other teams at the Y. He was also a big person for softball. If you know him, he also started the Independent Softball League and also had his own team, Mo Vies. Bob was a big part of Fayette County. He was always around to help all kids out in many ways. He also owned Hitters and Might, which I'm sure at one time we've all been out there before it closed to hit softball to play miniature golf. So, Bob, you are missed. Next is Mr. Fran Lemansky. Fran Lemansky was our soccer, I'm sorry, first of all, his wife, Arlene, and his son, Bart. Mr. Lemansky started boys soccer here at Laurel Highlands. He was the first team in Fayette County High School to have soccer. He helped then organize the other high schools and junior high teams in Fayette County to start soccer, to grow to where it is now. He also organized and coached the Fayette County Youth Soccer Association and was also a part of the YMCA. He coached traveling teams and cup teams to state playoffs and to premier status. He also has helped organize what is today the South Indian Township Indoor Soccer League. But most of all, Mr. Lancey, not only coaching here at Laura Highlands, the big thing for us with Laura Highlands is you're around and I was there at the game and so I'm happy to see you. We were at Mount Lebanon, it was in 1992, and we were the last place team for Laura Highlands. Raven last, seated last. And we were going up against the home team, the number one team at the WPIL at that time, Mount Lebanon. And we beat them on their field. So thank you, Coach Lamanzi. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, how about a nice, with your hand, how about the goodness? Nice round of applause for both of these men. But also, if you would, how about a moment of silence for both of these men as we know they're looking down at us right now. So nice moment of silence. Thank you. Thank you again, coaches. Thank you again, family members. They are here. Most of the family members are here this evening. Thank you. Nice tribute there to Bob Genovese and Fran Lemansky, two icons in our community and at Laurel Highlands. Hannah Stefanchin now, our national anthem.
band will finish with the Laurel Highlands alma mater. alma mater. Here we go now. I have one announcement to everybody that has qualified for the half court shot. You can qualify one more time tonight and then stick around after the game because about five minutes after the game starts, we're going to do the half court shots. Barry Rosner, our PA announcer, covers all bases. Tonight was senior night also for us here at Laurel Highlands. We would like to acknowledge and deploy the seniors for Greensburg Sailing. So as we announce you, we ask you would the police come out to the center of the court and face this way so we can get you on TV. Acknowledge senior for Greensburg, number 20, Noah Sweeney. Noah Sweeney, a senior for Greensburg. Nice promotion here that uh, Laurel Highlands usually always does promote the seniors from the visiting team. Number 23 is Jack Oberdorf. Number 33, Reed Hammondson. Three seniors being honored. And now the starting lineup. Our visitors on the scoreboard, the Greensburg Sailor. Your starters for Greensburg. The board check, here is the starting lineup. A senior, number 33, Reed Emmonson. Reed Emmonson, six foot three senior forward. Provides some nice bulk in the middle for the Lions. Number 23, Jack Oberdorf. A junior, six foot one senior. Number one, Dante Parsons, a six foot junior guard. A junior, number 12, Ryan Thomas. And number 12, a junior, Ryan Thomas, six foot junior, three junior. Trout. Very athletic. And number 10, a junior, Kayvon Trout, six foot three junior. Some height underneath there for the Mustangs to have to contend with. Here's your starters, all seniors for the Mustangs here this evening. First of all, we have six seniors on our ultimate senior. Number two, Max Penny. Our starting lineup, senior, number three, Carter Basinger. Connor Basinger, Max Henney, Demetrius King, Kane Basinger, Simon Kuznar, and Ilyasa Jr. Saluka. Simon Kuznar. There's your starters and the seniors. Here we go, ready for the tip. Mustangs in the home white. And Greensburg Salem in their traveling brown trimmed in gold. Mustangs hope to keep things 
close here at the beginning. Get some offensive production out of this senior lineup. Mustangs going left to right on your TV screen. Greensburg Salem right to left as we start the opening quarter. Each team matching up defensively. Here we go. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's going to be controlled by Greensburg Salem. Knocked out of the, I'm sorry, controlled by Laurel Highlands. I thought Iliasa knocked that out of bounds, but the official saw it the other way. So Simon Kuznar will bring it ahead. Man-to-man -man defense for Greensburg-Salem. Demetrius King deep in the corner. Tries to dribble out of trouble. Kuznar up top. Guarded there by Jack Oberdorf, number 20. Kuznar to the hoop, has it blocked away. Kept in play by Saluka. Skip pass across to King. Thought about the three, now we'll back it back out. Basinger for a jumper in a corner, no good. Saluka, offensive rebound, up, can't get it to go. Knocked out of bounds again, saved by, knocked out by the Lions. The Mustangs will have it again. Another opportunity on the offensive side. Three shots already for the Mustangs. Nothing has fallen. Connor Basinger to Kane. Top to Kuznar. Tries to get a screen from Kane Basinger. Reset, Saluka pops out. I'd look inside of King posting up inside. Can't get it up to the hoop now. He'll spring it back out to Kuznar. Mustangs all on offense. A complete minute has passed. No score yet. Kuznar with two on the way. No good again. Kane Basinger with the board. He gets it up the hoop, no good. Finally. The Lions with the rebound. Five shots at the hoop that time for the Mustangs. Nothing to show for it. Mustangs will drop back into a 2-3 zone. Good post up inside. Power move. Three on the way. Count it. That's Jake Oberdorf. Quickly. First shot converting for Greensburg-Salem. Now they come out in a 1-2-2 zone press. Demetrius trying to stay out of that. Trap, Kuznar in the corner to Saluka. Skip pass to King, thought about the long three. That's a blocking foul. Trying to cut through that double team was Demetrius King. That's gonna be a foul called on number 10. Kayvon Trout, his first, team first. Kuznar take the three. Off the rim, no good. Another offensive rebound for the Mustangs. Six opportunities at the hoop. Nothing to show for it now. Taken away. Back with numbers comes Greensburg-Salem. That was Dante Parsons. Thought better of it. Brought it back out. He'll take the long three. Off the rim, no good. Saluka with the rebound. Parsons had numbers. Elected to bring it back out. Mustangs yet to find the range. King will try from three. Got it. Demetrius King ties things at three. He can light it up. Controlling out front, Dante Parsons. On the right-hand side, that's Kayvon Trout. Corner to Parsons, double team there, almost tipped away. Skip it across now to Oberdorf. That's thrown out of bounds, turnover to the Mustangs. Greensburg will stay in that 1-2-2 two, two zone press. King and Kuznar in the backcourt. That's a high pass, and that's going to be stolen away, but Kuznar retrieves it, gets it to Connor Basinger. He'll take it all the way himself. Can't finish, but tip in by Saluka. Good hustle there and tip in by Junior. Gives the Mustangs their first lead at 5-3. 4.50 to go here in the first. Mustangs now matching up out of that 2-3 zone from the corner. And it looks like Oberdorf will be hot from three here early. Basinger to the hoop with the left. Got it. Connor Basinger for two. Ties, gives the Mustangs back the lead. It's 7-6. 
Two three-pointers by Oberdorf, the scoring so far for the Lions as two substitutes come to the table. Number 15, Cade Cavanaugh, and number 32, Mike Leo. Oberdorf, nice pass inside baseline. Back out on top to Parsons. He'll take the three. No good. Fight for the rebound inside. Basinger tipped it over to Saluka as King will bring it ahead. Demetrius behind the back, kind of lost a handle. Tracked down there by Junior. Kuzner way out on top. Pressure provided there. Oberdorf with the pressure. Corner to King, trying to look inside to Kane. Basinger lost his footing. Back come the Lions. Oberdorf's going to let him fly all night. Can feel that. A little strong on that one. King gets it forward. Saluka can't get it to go again. Wow. Probably would have been better served to bring that one down and go back up. Reposition himself. Gave himself a tough angle on that lay-in. 7-6. Mustang still on top. It looks like a Offensive foul, nope, what do we got? That's an offensive foul, called on Trout. That's gonna be his second, team second. And checking in for the Mustangs, we got Keandre Cook, Timmy Smith, Max Henney, Tavon Long, to be accompanied by Connor Basinger. Connor in the middle of that press break. Cook looking for somebody to help. Gets it across now to Henny. Inside, nice pass to Long. He'll score. Tyvon Long give the Mustangs a three-point lead at 9-6. to six. Two three zone again. Timmy Smith and Max Henny out on top. Out on top for Greensburg, Cade Cavanaugh. He'll drop it to Parsons. Parsons to Oberdorf. Cavanaugh gets it inside. Skip pass across to Oberdorf. Three on the way. Too strong. Long with the rebound. Gets it to Bakesinger. Now Henny. Will he take it to the hoop? He does, and he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Max Henny just a little over anxious there. Could not control himself on the drive. Picks up his first offensive foul. First team foul for the Mustangs. Oberdorf will step out. Coming in is number 12. That's Ryan Thomas. Also inside, Mike Leo. This is Kavanaugh. Skip it across there to Noah Sweeney. Inside, Parsons in the corner. Three on the way. No good. Re offensive rebound pulled down by Thomas. Knocked away. Keandre Cook trying to control. He does. Bring it ahead himself. Spin move. Knocked out of his hands and back out to Connor Basinger for three. Strong off the rim. No good. Pulled down by Parsons. Look ahead. Quickly. Left hand score by Ryan Thomas for the Lions. Makes it a one point game. Nine to eight. Smith will stop and pop. No good. Long with the rebound and put back. Can't get the roll. Wow. Basinger will fight for it. Still can't get it to go. Long now knocks it out of bounds. Back to the Mustangs. Wow. Three point blank opportunities for the Mustangs would not go in. Take the lid off. Cook all, all the way out on top to Basinger. Henny looking, looking to Timmy Smith. Greensburg remaining in that man-to-man -man offense. Long now, nice spoon move, fade away. Still no good off the rim, no good. Mustang just cannot get those short opportunities to fall. Here's a steal by Cook. See what he can do with it. Takes it himself, off glass, got it, wow. Athletic move there, Keandre Cook with the bucket and the foul. Fouls on number 20, Noah Sweeney. Count it for Keandre. Now checking in for Greensburg, Reed 
Amundsen, and back in is Long, I'm sorry, Saluka for the Mustangs. Cook trying to finish the three-point play, he does. 47 seconds to go here in the first on a running clock. Mustangs on top, 12 to eight. They'll stay in that two-three zone. Try to force. Long three on the way that time by Sweeney wouldn't go. Get it ahead to Timmy Smith in the corner. This is Henny for three. Short off the back side of the rim. I'm sorry, the bank board. 21 seconds. Looks like Greensburg-Salem may hold for one here. In no hurry now with 13 seconds. We're under 10 as the Mustangs match up out of that zone. Good pressure being provided. Parsons pass it inside. Left won't go there for Amundsen. Long three on the way for Cook. Won't go. Mustangs lead after one. 12-8. to eight. We'll be right back. After these messages, you're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS work with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back. We're ready for second quarter action. Mustangs on top, 12 to eight. With possession arrow in favor of Greensburg-Salem as we start the second quarter. Skip pass across to Parsons. He goes baseline, tries to get it outside. Now this is Cavanaugh and he traveled. Stepped out of bounds. Keandre Cook looking. This is Timmy Smith. Still in a man-to-man. -man. Nice screen for Timmy from the elbow. Wide open shot. Faddling in there is long for the offensive rebound. Another foul there on Greensburg-Salem. That's going to be on number 12, Ryan Thomas. His first team fourth. That's going to send Tyvon Long to the line. First opportunities here this evening. Yeah. 
Next one on the way, good. One out of two. 13-8, Laurel Highlands. Greensburg Salem content to walk it up against that man-to-man, -man, I'm sorry, zone defense for Laurel Highlands. Parsons always cuts through to the corner, just gonna swing it around, ball movement. Parsons now inside, that's an offensive foul. Good play there by Saluka as he was drilled by Ryan Thomas. Thomas will pick up his second. Quickly to the scorer's table is Trout, and he'll have to give Thomas a break with those two fouls, but Trout comes back in with two fouls. So short bench for Greensburg-Salem, just three substitutes on that bench. Cook. Paul handling inside to Saluka. Good spin move, just can't get it to go. Elias a little strong on that one. Good pass inside. Let's kick it back out to Parsons. Try to get it inside again. Long will steal that one. Hand it to Kuznar. The head to Cook. Cook trying to get it to the hoop. He does. Little roller in for Keandre Cook. Timeout called by Greensburg Salem. Mustangs on top. 15 to 8. 6.30 to go here in the second. We'll step aside. Gary Frank Kauser along with Jerry Dupay. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Quickly back after that 30-second timeout, Greensburg-Salem bringing it ahead, trailing 15 to eight. Second quarter action here at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. We'll try to highlight some of these senior statistics or their bios here as we go through this evening. Three on the way, that's gonna be short. Nice rebound, a box out there by Tyvon Long. Shot from the corner there was Kavanaugh. This will be Cook for three, he's gonna hit. Keandre Cook with Eight points already here in the first half. This is Oberdorf. He is a offensive go-to man for the Lions. Parsons trying to dribble through everyone. Oberdorf for three, too strong. Saluka with the rebound. Mustang strong on the boards with Saluka and Long in there. This is Long now. Hands it to Saluka. Little roller can't get it to go. Wow. Snake bit inside there is Junior. Inside, 5.15 to go here in the second. 18 to eight, Mustangs on top by 10. Mustangs staying in that 2-3 zone. Lions looking for movement out of their offense. Quick ball movement there, Parsons will try the three, got it. Dante Parsons, his first points of the game. A big three for Greensburg-Salem. Brings them back to within seven, 18-11. Cook checking things out for the low screen. Timmy Smith now looking. Takes his drive, good drop pass to Long. He has a block, but keeps it alive and scored again. Good stick to itiveness there by Tyvon Long. First shot was blocked, but did not give up on the play. Was able to reverse to the right side and finish, putting the Mustangs back up 20 to 11. Yeah. 
Going to go for baseline for Greensburg-Salem on the zone offense. Mustangs trying to keep those hands active, eliminate the passing lanes. A lot of time going off the clock. We are under 3.50 to go here in the second. This is Cavanaugh trying to find Parsons or Oberdorf. Is there game plan? I would imagine as Oberdorf throws it away, trying to hit Cavanaugh. Coming in for the Mustangs, Connor Basinger for the Lions, Mike Leo. Also in for the Mustangs is Kuznar, replacing Smith and Long. Kuznar looking for the screen. Does get the nice screen there. Cook with the three. Too strong, but there's Junior with the rebound. He's going to be fouled. What do we got? Offensive foul? Well, then it's, if he called it on black, that means it's Laurel Highland's ball. He pointed the wrong way and he corrected himself. The call was on 33 for Greensburg Salem, I thought so, and that's going to be his first team six. So the Mustangs have the ball on the baseline. Cook drives to the hoop. Nobody picks him up. Nice shot there by Keandre Cook. Seven in the quarter, 10 for the game for Keandre off the bench here this evening on senior night. 22-11, largest lead for the Mustangs at 11. Baseline now, quick it out to Parsons. He'll try another three, got it. Can't let him set his feet. Dante Parsons keeping the lines close with two threes, makes it 22 to 14. Cook sets himself, it's a little short, and that's gonna be out of bounds off the Mustangs. Nope, oh, they gave it back to the Mustangs. It's already knocked out of bounds by Greensburg-Salem before Connor grabbed it. Saluka in the corner. He'll kick it all the way out top to Demetrius King. King sets things up high. Looks for the screen from Saluka. King gets it, and he'll take the three and hit it. Beautiful screen there by Iliasa Jr. Saluka, providing all kind of room for Demetrius King to set up and take the three. 2.20 to go here in the second. 25-14, Laurel Highlands on top. Parsons across to Oberdorf. Parsons, he's looking to shoot. Corners jumper now, number 32. That was Mike Leo. Quickly out come the Mustangs with numbers. King to the hoosp himself, can't get it. Basinger can't get the put back. Wow, another point blank miss for the Mustangs. Oberdorf can't hit. Saluka with the rebound. Little elbow action there. I'm not sure what the call's gonna be. I think it's on Greensburg. That's on number 12, Ryan Thomas, his third. Team seven, that's going to be one and one. It's going to be one and one. That's going to put Iliasa Saluka at the line, one and one. Greensburg-Salem coaching staff not happy, to say the least, with the disparity in fouls, 7-1. to one. Definitely a foul before Saluka kind of, and there's a lane violation that Mustangs do not need as Junior actually made the foul shot. Wow. Back comes Greensburg-Salem. 1.45 to go here in the second. Parsons out on top, looks for that screen. He'll take another long three, way off the mark this time. This is Cook. That'll hand off to Saluka. Nice unselfish play there by Keandre Cook to Iliasa, and that's going to be a foul called, I believe, on Cook. Too much body there. 
That's going to be Keandre's first team second. Kane Basinger will check in. Max Henney will check in. 124 to go. Mustangs now with a 13 point advantage. Mike Leo for Greensburg. Try to get it back to Parsons. Good play there by Max Henney to, to uh, deny it. That was almost a five second call. Kuznar now with the steal. Gets ahead to Max. Back to Kane. Kuznar with the three on the way. Too strong. F pulled down there. That's going to be a foul call. I think that's on Max Henney. It's going to be, that's going to be his second team foul number three. Aggressive attempt at the steal resulted in the foul by Max Henney. We're under a minute here in the second quarter. Good skip pass. Parsons wide open, did not take the shot. Horn Oberdorf swinging it all the way around now to Trout. This is Parsons in the corner, no good. Tip it out, but controlled by Oberdorf. Skip a pass across again to Parsons. Good pass inside, it's on the court though. Kuznar comes away with the loose ball. Henny thought about the three. He drives in and loses control. Parsons will finish for Greensburg, so turnover results in a bucket for Greensburg with 16 seconds to go, 27-16. Nine seconds, seven seconds. Kuznar could not get that one above the rim. Two seconds, Oberdorf, long shot, hits the netting above the basket, and that will do it for the first half with Laurel Highlands on top, 27 to 16. We'll be back with halftime activities and statistics here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium being entertained by the Laurel Highlands Mustang cheerleaders out on the court. Always a special treat. Here are your halftime statistics. Mustangs on top, 27 to 16, scoring for the Mustangs. Two points for Connor Basinger, both in the first period. Demetrius King with two three-pointers for his total of six. For Keandre Cook, Seven in the second, three in the first for his total of 10. Ilyasa Saluka with four and rounding out the scoring, Tyvon Long with five. Mustangs 12 in the first, 15 in the second for 27 at the half. For Greensburg-Salem, 
Eight points in each of the first and second periods. Dante Parsons with eight for the Lions. Ryan Thomas with two. And Jack Oberdorf with six for their total of 16. Just three Lions in the scoring column so far here in tonight's action. So the Mustangs with that 11-point advantage. And let's see if they can maintain their intensity and possibly increase on this lead here this evening. Picking up another conference win will certainly be a feather in the cap for the Mustangs coming down to the end of the season. We'll be back with second half activities here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Welcome back. Halftime festivities concluded. We're ready for third quarter action with Laurel Highlands on top, 27 to 16 over the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. Mustang stayed in that 2-3 zone the entire first half and matched up up top trying to keep that three-point options for the Greensburg Salem Golden Lions at a minimum. Mustangs very strong on the offensive boards, but just unable to finish on a lot of those point-blank shots. Had they made most of their layups in the first half, the lead would be much larger. But with an 11-point advantage, Mustangs will have possession. Coming out now in a 1-3-1 and an immediate turnover for Greensburg-Salem. Parsons to the hoop. Can't get it over Saluka. Gets it now to Cook. Cook. Behind the back to Timmy Smith, dribbles it out of bounds. Sloppy play to begin the second half. Two turnovers for the Mustangs. Now back comes Greensburg Salem. Neither team yet to score here. 30 seconds into the third quarter. Parsons in the corner, good pass inside. Saluka, and he will be called for the foul. And the bucket, score it for number 12, Ryan Thomas. Gives him four on the evening, first two of the evening. That's going to be a foul called on Saluka, his first team foul, first of the second half. Cuts the lead to nine with an opportunity to cut it to eight now. Here is Ryan Thomas at the line. Six foot three junior for Greensburg Salem. Left hands it up there and score. First three points of the second half go to the Golden Lions. Mustangs with two turnovers on their first two possessions here to begin the second half. Important time of the game as the Mustangs need to maintain that momentum in the corner to Basinger now. He'll go baseline. Nowhere to go, but good follow and score by Saluka. Good basketball intuition there by Iliasa Jr. Saluka. Saw his buddy Connor Basinger really had nowhere to go and just followed it in. Picked up the junk hoop. Makes it 29 to 19. Now, Greensburg Salem, a little audio problem here in the gymnasium. Sounded like some thunder going off, and it's still that way. It's Junior Skuznar with the steal. Saluka comes away with it. He'll go to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Tip it back out to Connor Basinger. Basinger, one-hander, no, gets no, won't go. Cook with the shot, and it's blocked there by number 10, Kayvon Trout. Not sure why this is going on, but we're going to stop the game with this uh, audio problem. Not sure what it is. Hard for the coaches to even say anything to their players where that problem's coming from. Finally got that under control. 29-19, Laurel Highlands by 10. 6-14 to go here in the third. Mustang staying in that matchup 2-3 zone. 
Oberdorf kicks to Parsons. Parsons for three. Offensive rebound pulled down that time by Amundsen. He'll get it into Amundsen with the left. Can't get it to go, and it's going to be another foul called, I believe, on Saluka. Two quick ones on Junior, not what Coach Harger wanted to see. That's his second. Quick two here in the third. That will put Amundsen at the line. Also a left-hander, strong on that one. Slow start for both teams here in the third. Strong on both as Junior pulls down the rebound. Cook back to Timmy Smith. Smith now double teamed. Kuznar has it kicked away. Back out to Timmy Smith. Tries to pierce that defense. Kuznar skip pass to Cook. Corner now to Basinger. He'll let one go. That'll be short. Pulled down by Amundsen. Just two points for the Mustangs here in the quarter and just three for Greensburg-Salem. 5.20 to go, almost three minutes in. Good pass inside, potential for a walk, now blocked away by Basinger. Kuznar looking ahead, gets it to Junior, and he'll send it in. Junior of Saluka quickly back comes Greensburg-Salem. Nice pass there. Kuznar to Saluka for the slam. Good pass inside again. Left hand up, no good. Junior thought he had a rebound. It's going to be back to White. They're going to change the call. Good refereeing there as the outside officials saw the call. And he went and talked it over with his referee mate. And I believe they did get it correct. Number 12, Thomas, trying to control things, has it stolen. Timmy Smith will bring it ahead. All the way in the corner to Connor. Almost lost it. Skip pass out to Timmy. Thought about the three. Kuznar will take the long three. Got it. Nice shot there by Simon Kuznar. Pushes the lead out to 34 to 19. Mustangs on top by 15. Going to match up. Parsons trying to go baseline. Good drop pass stolen away again. Timmy Smith. He'll stop and shoot. That's short. Cleaned up there by Keandre Cook. He'll score. Timeout call by Greensburg-Salem. 36-19, 3.58 to go here in the third. We'll be back. Gary Frankhauser and Jerry Dupe on the South Union Township Sports Network.
we come with Greensburg Salem with the possession in the backcourt. Checking in was number 32, Mike Leo. Parsons does all of the ball handling out top for Greensburg Salem. 1-3-1 one, one zone offense as the Mustangs switch to a 3-2 zone. Parsons try to cut through from the elbow. He'll shoot, rebound, pulled down by Cook. Kick it out to Timmy Smith. He'll take it to the center. Kuznar fires the three. That's a little strong. Cook with the rebound. Good offensive rebound and put back by Keandre Cook. Two put backs in the quarter for Keandre as he goes to the offensive boards. Parsons now look across to Oberdorf. Oberdorf thought about the three, takes it in the corner. He'll be fouled, throws it up. It's going to be out of bounds. Good idea there by Oberdorf. Try to get the shot off once he knew the foul was going to occur. That foul's called on Connor Basinger, his first team foul number three on the Mustangs here in the second half. Greensburg Salem has yet to foul here in the second half. 3-10 to go here in the third. 38-19, Mustangs on top. Cavanaugh in the corner, off the hands of Oberdorf and out of bounds, returns back to the Mustangs. Now back into that 1-2-2 two, two zone press. Get it in the middle along. Kane Basinger goes baseline. Off glass, no good. Clean up by Long, gets the roll. Tyvon Long and the Mustangs strong on the offensive boards here in the third. Now leading 40 to 19. Parsons gonna let one fly from long range. Cook will pull it down. Has numbers. Good pass to Kane Basinger with the left score. And Kane Basinger with two. 42-19, Laurel Highlands on top. Oberdorf from Parsons playing catch out on top. Demetrius King set to check in for the Mustangs. Corner now, this is Kavanaugh. Tries to get it inside, no good. Clean up there though and score it for Amundsen, his first two. Cook in the middle to Kuznar, nice pass. Kuznar to the hoop. Oh, wow. A running one-hander by Simon Kuznar. Score it, 44 to 21. Minute 40 to go here in the third. Thomas kicks it back out on top to Oberdorf. Tyvon Long with the defensive board. Kuznar now feeling it a little bit. Gets it over to Keandre Cook. Cook will back it out. Deal with the man-to-man -man defense. Gets the screen from Long. Now he'll take it all the way himself and score it. Keandre Cook gets the screen. Gives him 16 on the evening. 46-21, Laurel Highlands on top. We are under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Oberdor from long range. Tipped out of bounds. That's going to be stay with Greensburg Salem. Wow, I'm not sure about that one. I believe that was tipped out by the Golden Lions, but they will keep possession. Wholesale substitutions now for Greensburg-Salem. Back in, came on Trout, along with Noah Sweeney. 23 is Oberdorf, he stays in, and 12, Ryan Thomas stays in with Parsons. Oberdorf try to get some ball movement here for Greensburg-Salem. Mustangs matching up out of that 2-3 zone, providing pressure on the shooters. Trout now in the middle. Good drive and score there by Ryan Thomas. Gives him five for the quarter, seven overall. Cook now being guarded there by Trout. He'll bring it all the way back out on top. One trapping zone defense now for the Golden Lions. Inside, this is corralled and scored by Tyvon Long. Looked like it potentially was going to be a steal with 10 seconds to go now. Oberdorf back to Parsons. Now inside, they're trying to get it inside there. 
to, tr to uh, Thomas, but he's unable to finish with three seconds to go. It'll be out of bounds under the hoop to Greensburg-Salem. Do not allow for the screen. Here comes Parsons for three. Got it at the buzzer. Nice shot by Dante Parsons. Gives him 11 and cuts the lead to 48 to 26. Laurel Highlands on top as we go to the fourth here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. We come out for the fourth quarter. Kane Basinger will be triggering it in for the Mustangs. Gets it to Kujnar. We have Simon Kujnar, Keandre Cook, Tyvon Long, Kane Basinger, and Demetrius King on the court for the Mustangs. They get it right inside to Tyvon Long, and he finishes. 50 to 26 now, Laurel Highlands on top. Kick in the corner, swing it all the way around. Parsons will look to shoot, no doubt. Get it inside there to Thomas. He'll take the left, can't get it to go. Cook comes out with the rebound. Ahead to Demetrius King to the hoop, he'll score. Mustangs on a roll, 52 to 26. Oberdor 4-3, can't get it to go, long rebound. Pulled out of there by Sweeney. Dropped to Parsons, he'll take the three. Man, he can hit. Dante Parsons for three, gives him 14. They'll stay in that press, 52-29. Good press break now as Demetrius King will bring it forward. Back to Kuznar. He came in from out of bounds. That's not allowed to do that, and a late call, but good call as he was unable to maintain his balance and reestablish himself in the court that was good hustle though by Jack Oberdorf on the potential steal 650 to go Kuznar being guarded by Oberdorf all kind of pressure being provided that's going to be a foul call too much hand checking that time on Oberdorf that's going to be his first just the first team foul of the half on Greensburg Salem Demetrius King tried to lob it in, but now he'll take it himself. Lost it. Picked up by Kane Basinger. Good hustle, but stolen away by Parsons. Parsons. Thomas to the hoop. He's fouled and score it. Good athletic move there by Ryan Thomas. Changed hands in midair. Went with the left. Drew the foul from Tyvon Long. And that will send Ryan Thomas to the line. At 52 to 31, one shot for the three-point play for Ryan Thomas. He got it. Two for two from the line for Ryan. That gives him 10 with 6.32 to go here in the fourth. Checking back in for the Mustangs. Connor Basinger, Ilyasa Saluka, 
and Timmy Smith. Connor now, long pass to Kuznar with the left, down the left side, smartly brings it back out. Across to Cook, Cook will stop and shoot. Can't get it to go, in and out. Quickly back come the Golden Lions. Oberdorf, he'll stop and shoot. No good, Cook trying to battle for the rebound, has it. Looking ahead, and he'll be fouled. Smart foul there by Dante Parsons as the Mustangs had numbers going the other way. It'll be out of bounds as it's just the second team foul. First on Parsons with 6-10 to go here in the fourth. Mustangs on offense, swing it all the way to Cook. He'll try to three. No good. Basinger tries to rebound, knocked into the hands of Kavanaugh. Parsons to Oberdorf, long three on the way. He'll score. Jack Oberdorf for three. Mustangs might want to take the air out of the ball here a little bit, not to give any opportunities for Greensburg-Salem, but Kuznar says the heck with that. I'm going to shoot here at the elbow and score, making it 54 to 35. Greensburg-Salem now still facing that zone. Parsons way out on top. Con Connor Basinger with the rebound. Try to do it himself. Timmy, nobody on him. He'll take the three. And gets into the act. Timmy Smith with a three. We're under five minutes to go. Thomas now with the spin move, tries to get, get open. He'll score it again. Wow. Ryan Thomas has no quit in him. And that foul is going to be called on Long. His second, team foul number four. And that will send Thomas to the line again to try for the three-point play. He'll get it. Three for three from the line for Ryan Thomas. Gives him 13. Saluka now can't control any double dribble. A little too quick now. The Mustangs need to slow things down a little bit, just maintain control, take some time off the clock, leading 57 to 38 with 4.45 to go here in the fourth. This is Thomas. He might as well take it himself, and he does. That left hand is hot now here in the fourth. Eight points in the quarter for Ryan Thomas. Mustangs do not need to be in a hurry. Now leading by 17. Kuznar is going to take the three. He'll hit. Coach Hogger's not slowing him down. 60 to 40. Good ball fake there. Pass inside, stolen by Cook. Can he get out of there? He's pushed. Wow. Could have been a foul call, but a hell ball is called. And that's going to be out of bounds to Greensburg-Salem. So the Mustangs need to be conscious of the screens here in the 2-3 zone, not allow for an easy hoop out of bounds. And it's a foul called on Cook. Not, not a smart foul on Keandre as he just reached in. And that's going to be the sixth team foul. Do not want to put the Lions into the bonus and allow them to score with the clock stop now with 4.08 to go here, almost halfway through the fourth quarter. Parsons tried to dribble through, can't do it. Kuznar comes away with a pack. Connor Basinger to the hoop. Too strong off the rim. Now coming back two on two are the Golden Lions. Parsons, good pass across. Score it. I believe that was number 20. It was Noah Sweeney for two. Cuts the lead to 18 with 3.51 to go. Greensburg-Salem wants a timeout. We'll take a timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. 
If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Out of the timeout will be Mustang Ball. Greensburg Salem looking to create turnovers in this man-to-man -man full court press. Cook will get it to Timmy Smith. Cannot get in that position where you're double teamed. No need to hurry now for the Mustangs. Keandre will take the jumper from the elbow and he'll hit. Mustangs able to find the range here in the fourth. Three on the way and way long that time by Trout. Cook will bring it ahead. He carried, got away with it, and he's fouled. It's going to be two shots, I believe, and it might be on number 10, Cave on Trout. And I believe that's the third team foul. They call it on Dante Parsons, his second. And that's going to send Cook to the line. 18 points for Keandre. One for one so far at the line here this evening. He'll hit the first. Oberdorf checks back in for Greensburg. Keandre with the second, got it. Give him 20. We're under three minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the fourth. Oberdorf's going to let him fly now, no doubt. Out to Timmy Smith. He'll pull it out. Saluka is fouled, no, foul, no call, and he'll score it. Wow, all kind of contact. Give Junior double figures at 10. Another steal for the Mustangs. Coach Auger may look to get those seniors back in now with 2.44 to go and the lead out to 66 to 42. That's going to be on Cave on Trout that time. That's his third. Team foul number four. Mustangs will set up their out of bounds play with 2.38 to go. Timmy. Thought about the three, he'll take the dribble, drop it back in the corner to Keandre, no good. High for the rebound, that's gonna be knocked out of bounds by Thomas in favor of the Mustangs. Connor inside and little grab there by Thomas, but see, Iliasa could not get to that one, so that will be out of bounds back to the Golden Lions. Kuznar now trying to shadow Parsons, maybe stop some of that offense there, go to the box in one, or the diamond in one. To the hoop, Thomas can't finish that one, and a tackle by Parsons. That'll be his third, team foul number four. That's going to bring in Max Henney along with Demetrius King. Send out Cook and Smith. So we have the all-senior lineup in there now for the Mustangs with 2.20 to go. Henny can't control. It's going to be a foul called, I believe, on Max. That's going to be one and one now. his third team foul number seven and that's going to send Kayvon Trout to the line to try to get into the scoring column for Greensburg Salem yeah. seniors for the Mustangs Kane Basinger as the one and one is missed there by Trout Connor Basinger Max Henney 
Demetrius King. And this is Connor Basinger scoring for the Mustangs. Simon Kuznar and Ilyasa Saluka. Once again, Saluka as the three-pointer on the way there. No good by Oberdorf, but put back and score it for Trout. I'm sorry, Thomas. And he has been the entire offense for the Golden Lions here in the second half. Scored for him, out of bounds. Timeout called. We'll get through these seniors one more time. I was ended with Kuznar, Demetrius King, and Max Henney, along with Connor Basinger and Kane Basinger. Those are your seniors. We'll take our final timeout with the Mustangs on top, 68 to 44. Gary Frank Kauser along with Jerry Dupay on the South Eden Township Sports Network. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so we turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them a call. Here we go, Mustangs with the trigger in. Long pass to Henny, can he score? It's up, he got it! Max Henney with the bucket. Coach Auger set it up for him, and he gets it. Nice play there for the Mustangs. Thomas now trying to work his way in again. He is hammered. That's going to be a foul call. Let's see who that's on. I believe it's Kuznar, but let's wait and see. It is Simon Kuznar, his first team eighth. Two shots at the line once again for Ryan Thomas. 10 points in the quarter, 17 overall for Ryan Thomas, carrying the load for Greensburg-Salem. Excellent foul shooter, four for four so far here. Kane Basinger will replace Ilyasa Saluka with a minute and a half to go. Second one good again by Ryan Thomas. Checking in now, number 15, Cade Cavanaugh. Kuznar gets the inbounds. Back to Connor Basinger, over to Demetrius King. He'll get it to Kuznar, but stolen. Basinger thought about the uh, block, but Thomas will get another bucket. Timeout called. 70 to 48, minute 19 to go. Full timeout, no give up in the Greensburg-Salem Golden Lions, trailing by 22 with a minute 30 to go. They're still gonna talk about it. We'll keep it right here as the Mustangs trying to pick up their second conference or section victory here in section 1-5A. And I give Coach Hogger a lot of credit throughout this season. He has continued to coach very hard and teach these young men the Fundamentals of basketball. They have been improving steadily throughout the season. The record may not show the results, but if you're watching this team play, you can certainly see the improvement that has been sustained throughout this basketball season. Two more games for the Mustangs. Have an away game Friday, and then back to the Crosstown rival with the Uniontown Red Raiders next Monday. We'll have that game on the South Union Township Sports Network as Henny can't save it in with a minute 13 to go. Thomas, corner to Parsons. He'll shoot the three, get it. Dante Parsons. We're at a minute five as Connor Basinger will bring it ahead. Gets it to Demetrius King. He throws it out of bounds. So little struggle here late for the Mustangs. Still up 19, 70 to 51. Just need some clock to tick off, really, for the Mustangs. Don't need to foul, that's for sure. Kick it over to Oberdorf. He'll try to the three. That's short. Picked up there by King. That's Connor Basinger to his right, but King will take it to with his left. Basinger now trying to back himself out. Score it. Wow. What do we got? Offensive foul called. 
Wow. Must have called Connor backing out. With 43 seconds to go, it goes back to Greensburg-Salem. Just need to keep that clock running if you're the Mustangs. Quick shots of what Golden Lions need. Parsons will take a three. And that's no good, but an offensive rebound? No, Basinger comes away with it. Gets fouled, nothing called. Henny with the rebound. Can't get it, he's going to be fouled. So Max Henny will get an opportunity at the line with 27 seconds to go. Nice pass there by Connor Basinger over to Henny. Trying to keep Max involved. Max for two, short on the first. One more opportunity here. All these Mustang players put in a lot of time as second one's no good. Kane Basinger now with the baby hook, no good. That's going to go out of bounds and be tipped by Greensburg-Salem. And it'll go back to Laurel Highlands. Twenty-three seconds to go. Kane Bay Singer for three. Can't get the roll. Rebound pulled down by Oberdorf. He's going to be fouled by Connor. Unnecessary foul. Put Oberdorf at the line with 16 seconds to go. Mustangs on top, 70 to 51. Impressive final outing here at the home court for Laurel Highlands. They're going to pull away with their. Second conference victory. Oberdorf will hit. Gives him double figures at 10. At Albert Gallatin on Friday. And Uniontown next Monday as Oberdorf hits the second. Greensburg Salem has Uniontown, and I, I stand corrected. This is not a. I'm sorry, Uniontown will be playing Greensburg Salem. So two more games for the Mustangs. Stolen away by Parsons. Back to Kuznar with seven seconds to go. Henny's going to hold. Back to Kuznar. Flip it to King. Thought about the three, but he's not going to take it. Shows some good sportsmanship, and the Mustangs come away with the victory, 70 to 53. Here on home court on senior night, we'll be back with the final statistics and wrap things up here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. In any endeavor, experience is probably the most important factor, but it's got to be the right kind of experience. Experience in the community where the case is tried, where the jurors live, where the judges work. We've been doing this since 1976 at Davis and Davis. That's a long time. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. The Mustangs with an impressive 70 to 53 victory here tonight on home court on senior night as the fans compete in the half court competition here to end the last game of the season here for the Mustangs. They go out in style on the home court with the 70 to 53 victory and the Mustangs pretty much in control throughout the game and give a lot of credit to Coach Hogger with the Intensity that his team came out with here from the get-go. Mustangs in the first 12, in the second 15, in the third 21, and in the fourth 22 for their total of 70. Greensburg-Salem, 8 in the first, 8 in the second, 10 in the third, 27 in the fourth for their total of 53 points. Scoring for Greensburg-Salem, Dante Parsons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, three-pointers and a deuce for 17 points. Ryan Thomas carried the load with 21, including five for five from the line for Ryan Thomas. Noah Sweeney off the bench, 4-2. Jack Oberdorf with three three-pointers.